Today we'll be talking about the topic on how to recharge borewell water. As summer approaches, many regions in India are once again bracing for the familiar problem of water scarcity. With rising temperatures, the demand for water soars while the supply dwindles. Borewells, which were once reliable sources of groundwater, are drying up at an alarming rate. This isn't just a problem confined to cities, but it affects rural areas where farmers depend on groundwater for their livelihoods. But there's still hope through borewell recharge methods. You can still replenish the groundwater levels and ensure a steady supply of water, even in the hottest month. In this video, I'll be guiding you through effective methods to recharge your borewell. The earlier you start this process, the better you can avoid a water crisis when summer hits. Remember to stay till the end of complete details and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So hello and welcome to Freedom Farming English Channel and I'm your host Rohit Sharma and today you're diving deep into a pressing issue, water scarcity and how to recharge your borewell. If you're experiencing water shortage or have noticed that your borewells isn't yielding as much water as before, this video is for you. The groundwater crisis, before we get into the solutions, let's take a closer look at the problem. In many parts of India, groundwater levels have been steadily depleting. The days when we could easily dig a shallow well or bore well and access abundant water are long gone. For example, in the 1980s, a bore well drilled at just 100 feet would give us sufficient water supply. Today in cities like Bengaluru, people are drilling bore wells as deep as 1,700 feet and still not finding water. According to a report by the Bangalore Water Supply and Sewage Board BWSSB, out of 13,900 bore wells in the city, nearly 6,900 have dried up completely. This means that around 50% of the city's bore wells are no longer functional. And with summer only a few months away, the few remaining bore wells may dry up soon as well. This paints a grim picture not just for city dwellers, but also for farmers who rely on groundwater to irrigate their crops. Without water, crops wither and farmers are left staring at the sky, waiting for rain. Even when rainfall does come, it's often not enough to replenish groundwater levels. This is because many urban areas have paved over natural recharge zones with concrete. While rural areas suffer from deforestation and soil erosion, when water can't seep into the ground, it can replenish the groundwater. And without groundwater, bore wells run dry. If this situation continues, next summer will be more challenging than ever. But we can do something about it. The key is borewell recharge, a process that allows rainwater and runoff to seep back into the groundwater and refill depleted aquifers. Let's explore the different methods you can use to recharge your borewell. The first method is called direct water injection, which is one of the simplest ways to recharge your borewell. Here's how it works. Dig a recharge pit around your borewell. The pit will act as a collection point for rainwater and water runoff from your property. Then install a filtration system in the pit to remove debris and contaminants from the water before it enters the ground. Now channel the rainwater collected on your rooftop or yard into the recharge pit by allowing the rainwater to seep into the ground. You'll naturally increase groundwater level which in turn will replenish your borewell. This method is highly effective, especially in areas where rainwater runoff is not being utilized efficiently. But did you know that a thousand square foot roof can collect over 600 gallons of water from just one inch of rainfall? Just imagine how much groundwater you could recharge if you harnessed all the rainwater that falls on your property. Next, we have the filtered water recharge method. In this technique, the rainwater collected from your rooftop is filtered before it's allowed to seep into the ground around your borewell. This method ensures that the water entering the ground is free from pollutants and debris. Here's what you need to do. Dig a pit around your borewell about 5 feet wide and 10 feet deep. Then install a casing pipe with small holes in it, allowing the water to slowly percolate into the borewell. Layer the pit with large stones, gravel, smaller stones and sand to filter the water. Finally, cover the pit with soil and connect it to the rainwater collection system. The rainwater will pass through the layers of filtration before entering the borewell. This not only helps recharge the borewell but also improves the quality of the water. In areas with high contamination such as urban zones, this method is especially beneficial. Next we have gravity-based recharge system. Gravity-based recharge systems are ideal for rural and hilly areas where water naturally flows downhill. By strategically placing recharge pits or ponds at the base of a slope, you can capture runoffs and allow it to seep into the ground. Here's how it works. Identify the low points on the property where water naturally collects during rainfall. Dig a large pit or a pond at these points. Direct the rainwater runoff into the pit allowing it to gradually seep into the ground. In addition to recharging your borewell, this method can also increase the moisture content of your soil, benefiting your crops. If the recharge pit is large enough, it can double as a small pond. 
providing a water source for your farm during dry season. Next we have percolation pits and trenches. Percolation pits and trenches are another effective method for recharging bore wells, especially in agricultural areas. By digging shallow trenches or pits, you allow rainwater to percolate into the soil where it can then replenish the groundwater table. This method is particularly useful in areas with loose, sandy soils and allow water to seep through quickly. By directing rainwater into these pits, you can significantly increase the amount of water that reaches the groundwater level, helping your borewell stay functional even during dry periods. So for that, identify areas on your property where rainwater naturally flows or collects. Dig a series of trenches or pits to collect the water. Allow the water to prelocate into the ground, recharging the groundwater table, data or borewell depletion. It's important to understand the urgency of borewell recharge. According to a report by the Central Groundwater Board CGWP, India is facing a critical water shortage due to over-extraction of groundwater. Over 30% of the country's groundwater blocks are classified as over-exploited, meaning they are being used faster than they can be replenished. In states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra, groundwater levels are dropped by as much as 2 to 4 meters in the last decade. This is a serious issue as bore wells in these regions are becoming increasingly unreliable. By using this bore well recharge methods, you can ensure that your bore well continues to provide water even during the hottest months of the year. Start now to avoid the water crisis this summer. If you have any questions or need more information, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want to earn 1 lakh rupees from 1 acre of agri land, then what are you waiting for? Download the Freedom app right now. The link is in the description. I'll see you in the next episode with another farming tip. Until then, take care and happy farming.